Support Roller March Unfiltered. Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. As Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Speaking as Pelosi announced that retired Lieutenant General Russia Honor Ray is going to be leading the investigation to what took place on Capitol Hill during the insurrection. Here's what she had to say. I have asked retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore uh, to lead an immediate review of security infrastructure, interagency processes, and command and control. The general is a respected leader with experiences, experience dealing with crises. As a former vice director of for operations, J3, with the Joint Chiefs of Staff, his focus was military support to civilian authorities military support to civilian authorities, and he has experience with national, the national capital region's security. House leadership has worked with General Honore, seen up close and personal his excellent leadership at the time of Katrina. Our, particularly, Mr. Kyburn was the head of our Katrina task force, so he and I and others uh, know full well how fortunate we are that the general has accepted of, as willing to do this. Members are moving forward with strong oversight from committees, of course, to have after action review. There is strong interest in the Congress in a 9-11 type commission, an outside, outside commission, to conduct that after action review. In the meantime, I'm very grateful for, to General Honore for taking on this responsibility. Uh, I dare say, Michael, that is a uh, important, critical uh, selection of General Russell Honore. I think it is perfect as somebody no nonsense to get down to the bottom of what took place on January 6th. I think it is also, and I think he'll get down to the bottom of it as well. And I think we're going to find uh, the, the swamp and a basket of deplorables at the bottom also. Uh, so <laughs> I was pleased to hear that today. Absolutely. Uh, that's uh, it, it's an important it's an it's, it's an important pick. Uh, it's an important pick, uh, Kelly. And uh, again, uh, Honore, uh, no nonsense. This video here is when he was on this show five days ago, letting folks have it. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, just go pull the audio up. And that is starting to happen. They're starting to fire him. But that was complicit. There's people inside the chain of command of that Capitol Police that allowed this to happen. Uh, I went into the Capitol roller as three-star general, three stars on each shoulder in full uniform, and them ass hats took a lighter from me. You understand? They selectively applied the law, and they allowed their buddies in yesterday, and they destroyed a good portion of our house. And people need to go to jail. It need to be a DOJ investigation, none of this bullshit Congress investigation. And we need to hold people accountable. We need to catch all their phones, who they were with, their rooms they went to in that Capitol. Uh, I used to go in and out. I never know how you'd find your way to some of these rooms. So they, they, they had help inside the force. And you could assume about 30% of that force support the guy in the White House. That's just the demographics. And, and our system failed and, and yesterday. That, and I dare say, Kelly, uh, if you're a Capitol Hill police officer, a member of Congress, you do not <laughs> want to see him walking through the door. <laughs> Unless he's saying, thank you for your service. No, you do not. Um, I remember Honore specifically from Hurricane Katrina and the coverage of Hurricane Katrina because, you know, it's in history books now, but for those of us who were there, that was an entire mess. It was just very unorganized, very disorganized, very chaotic, uh, very heartbreaking. And to have Honore on the scene, taking the lead, figuring out what happened, how not, how for, how to make sure that it doesn't happen again, um, putting policies in place so that we can move forward from that tragedy. You know, we need that right now. And it's obvious that it's not going to come from the Trump administration. Um, for the Biden administration to get to it is, frankly, a little too late because they have COVID-19 to worry about. We need something right now um, starting this investigation. And I feel like Honore will definitely be the perfect person for the job.
Rob. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm excited to see somebody that's going to hold these folks accountable. We have to have somebody that's uh, ready because this is going to be a hard task. And I think he made a really important point. He talked about the demographics of some of the Capitol Police, but the demographics of the police in general. Uh, there, there was an article, I can't remember if, if it was from Times or wherever, but it talked about a lot of uh, black officers across the country have been upset about the radicalization of uh, members within uh, their force that are white that have been become radicalized in terms of hate, in terms of where they're going. And we know why in this current climate, but there hasn't been anybody addressing that. And that's going to have to get really, really reviewed, really the climate of uh, the criminal justice system, specifically the climate of policing, which we know has general problems, but I think has gotten uh, pretty, pretty, pretty dra drastically worse in the last few years due to the climate and due, who, due to the former leader in, uh, in our country. Thank God in a few days. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.